Now when it comes to videos and pictures, you have different options for what you can do. So let me actually add a new section as an example. I'll do a blog style one. And the reason I chose this one is because these images here are more the correct size for YouTube videos, but there's different uh, templates and elements that have different sizes that you can pick from. But even inside of these, you can always edit. And if you change the item height here, then you can get the image size to what you want. But I like this uh, blog post one for videos because I can put a little video and then my description and call to action right next to the video. And you can tell that this is the same one that I've used for the training page on the Rebel Website Builder training page. You can tell I use this format. And so I just set the images to the size that I want. And then I'll click on it. And remember first I said if you're going to put a video or change it, first you need to remove that image. And now we click on the plus sign and video. Now this is the default one that it's going to start off with. And all you have to do is do edit video. If you want to pick one from the media center, we have videos in the media center here. And you can see there's some basic ones for business and for computers. Then we have some basic nature ones. So let's just go with this one because I like reptiles and lizards. So now we see we have our video and it's auto playing and there's no sound and it's going to loop. So if you want to change that, you just go to edit video and then here we have autoplay cover mute and loop so if you do this it'll take the loop off if you do this it'll take the mute off if you do this it'll take the autoplay off and if you do that then it's going to make it so it's the actual size and not the full size like it's and it. see how it changes like that and then we do save and then when they reload the page, the video wouldn't start playing automatically. It would have the play button right there. So you can see that's how you have it if you want it to play. So it's video content. If you're using video content, then that's what you would do. You would put your link in from Vimeo or YouTube and then make sure that you don't have autoplay and don't have mute and don't have loop selected. Those are the ones by default because uh, for the video backgrounds, we want to make sure that people don't accidentally have their video backgrounds with the music and not looking correctly. So that's how you change the videos. And as I said, you can use one from the media center if you don't have one of your own. And there's not a massive selection. But what I suggest doing is, even for example, if you want to use a video background, so let's say I want to use a video background for this section here. So I'm going to click on video. Okay, so here I have my video background. And one thing that I do often is I'll go to edit video. And then I will go over to YouTube. And I'll look up HD video background. And then you're going to come up with a whole bunch of different options that you can use and you can stick in your website. Here's a time lapse one. Those ones are often nice. I usually try to pick one that's not too big, like 14 seconds is pretty good because it's not going to take long to load up a 14 second video. If you put a video in there that's a couple hours long, then it might cause problems might cause problems for loading. So then I just copy this, that code here. 
and I go over to my video and I'll paste the code in. Then I make sure that all of these are selected because I want it to loop, I want it to autoplay, I want it to be the cover, and I don't want the sound to play. Save it. Now if the video is super close up like that, sometimes it helps if you click on the cover and then it will move it back more. But if your stripe isn't big enough, then you'll probably have to extend it to fit the video size. And we can always do the section settings here to change the positioning of the text and our layout as well. We wanted to change the layout, but since we already set it like that, we'll just leave it. If we want to link this section to something, just click on there, link, go to, and then you can link it what you want to link it with. And so that's how you set the video as a video background and change the different sizes and look of it. Uh, also right now it has the filter on it, which is why it looks like that. If I click on video and then come to filters, actually click on it up here. Filters. So you can even change the opacity of the video if you would like. And so you can set a video for the entire section as a background or you can have a video playing in the side here for content or that people have to click to get to play. For any of these, you can add video backgrounds to all of these. Just you click on the plus and then click on the video. Uh, for this one, it's going to add the video here. So if I add video, it's going to put the video there. It's not going to put it, but you see this box isn't really the right size for the video. So if I wanted to actually use a video in this one, I would have to edit the section setting. And then change, change that to one and then change the item height to how I want it, or I could change it to two, and then set the item height to the right size for the video. So it'd be about like that. Breathe and you can still resize it using the item height here and the space between to get it to the right size. So you can see you can change your video layout like that as well. And the size and everything is completely editable. Now let's say I have this video and I want to switch it back to a picture. And then I just do remove element. And you see there I've removed the video now back to the picture that I had there before. And I can edit the picture just like I was doing before. So that's about the videos. Now for images, it works the same as the videos, as you can see for resizing and setting everything. But for images, you also have another option, fixed and parallax. So let me go to a bigger image to give you an example of fixed and parallaxed. And let me move it down one. So when I set this to fixed, you're going to see that when I scroll, the image stays fixed and everything moves over the top of it like that. When I go to parallax, it's pretty much the same thing, but now the background image moves a bit as well as I scroll. It's not exactly fixed, it's moving, but it's moving at a slower rate than the foreground. So it's a different kind of scrolling effect. And I can do that with any image, not just the big header images, but a lot of times it won't look correct if you do it. 
unless you have resized the image already to be exactly that size. So you can see it doesn't look right unless you've already resized the image to be exactly the size of the box. So it works great for section headers for the parallax and the fixed image. But for these ones, for the smaller ones, it's best to keep it to normal unless you've already done resizing to make sure that your image is going to look correct when you do the fixed or the parallax. You can also edit your images with the opacity, crop, and filters. So with the crop, you can see we've got the scale here. We've got contain. Cover. So we have the one by one, then you move the, to the right side, contain. And you see it'll keep the box and the image more proportional as it moves things. And then cover. And we also have the filters, so if you'd like to change the filters and you just select which one you want and it will add it to the image automatically. Uploading your own is very easy. You just click on replace image. If you do media, media center, that's going to select one from the media center. If you want to use your own GIF, uh, there's GIFs in the media center, but if you want to use your own GIF, you just do replace image and select your GIF. So this is a GIF that I made before. I'll open it and you can see it automatically applies the filter that I had put to the other one and that's to maintain the uh, look. So then after it loads, now I've got my GIF in there. It's a little bit different size from the other pictures so I can always go to crop and then make it a bit bigger. Okay, so there you see I have my GIF in with my images and I was able to resize it no problem and you can do that with any of these other things so even if I want to replace this one with a GIF I can, if I want to replace it with a video I can, I can put all of these as GIFs if you want, you can resize them just like I was showing you before with the editing for the settings you can change the layout very easily so whether it's an image a gif or a video you've got a lot of options for using them for decoration for content for styling for backgrounds you can see it's uh, very easy to set up and it looks very cool